on the board. All right. So, as you might remember, we started the notes on 1.9. We were talking about box and whisker plots, right? So let's just kind of review real quick what a box and whisker looks like. Okay. What would we have called this point right here? An outlier. An outlier. Okay. So that's outside of our data to the right. Obviously, that outlier is going to uh, that outlier is going to pull the mean to the right. But then other things up here, you have a minimum of your data and a maximum of your data. The min and max do not include the outliers, okay? How do you determine if it's far enough away from the other numbers to be an outlier? Oh, there's a formula we'll okay. look at soon. Okay. All right, so then this line right here is Q1. This line right here. Is Q2, and we know that as the median. And this line right here is Q3. Okay? Other things that this showed us is in this region, this is 25% of my data, 25% of my data, 25% of my data, 25% of my data. Okay, so that all works in there. And again, when you deal with those extreme outliers, you're not worried about that as part of your data because it's just a a strange event that takes place. And so, um, so those are just a few things to take a look at. Um, there are things that the box of whiskers that would tell you as far as what it would look like with a, um, with like a, a, a normal curve. So if you had if you had a box plot that looked like this, your normal curve would look something like this. Okay? Because we have that long tail off to the right. If I had something that looked like this, that's going to have a normal curve that's going to look, whoops, I can do better than that. <laughs> It was working. <laughs> it would work eventually. So that's what your normal curve would look like. You know, kind of leans. So this is skew right, skew left. <clears throat> skew right means that the the mean is to the right. Of median skew left, it means the mean is to the left of the median because again we know that the mean is imp impacted by um, outliers. Okay, now the nice thing is because you get to use your calculator, it's pretty simple to to do all this on the calculator, and I don't have the calculator up, but basically it's stat, edit, you, know, you put your stuff in L1, that's where you put your data in. You also have to make sure you go to second y equals, and you turn on, this is to turn on the which kind of graph you want to look. Okay, so second y equals, turn your stat plot on, make sure it's on the on position, and you look for the picture that is this. That's for, for box and whisker. Don't look at the one that's next to it that does this. Not this one. So once you have all of that on, on the calculator, all you need to do is just hit zoom and it's number nine for zoom stat. And that's going to turn your graph into a window you can see. 
And then once you deal with all of that, you can hit trace. And trace will take you to the min, max, Q1, median, and Q3. And so that's basically the ins and outs of doing it. But again, calculator is such a good device for you, and I have eight of them here. So um, why don't we give you all the opportunity to um, take a look at, that was 1919. Let me just make sure, Lois. Okay. I think you can deal with all that. Oh, uh, other thing. On the box and whiskers. So let's say they had this as a picture. Down here they had it labeled where this is 5, this is 7, 8, 10, 13. So all of these numbers down below, if you're just looking at an actual picture, would tell you what the certain things are. If something said, hey, what is the 25th percentile, that would be 7. Okay, That means the scores from 7 below are in the 25th percentile. If I said, hey, what happens if I get to here, this is the 50th percentile, 75th, 75th percentile. But again, when you look at this graph, you realize that this encompasses, not to be confused with the percentiles, 25% of each of your data. And so, obviously, as you go left to right, 25%, 25 plus 25 is 50, 25 plus 25 plus 25 is 75, and then 25 plus itself four times gives you 100%. Um, but those are, these are for the percentiles. As far as the box and whiskers shows us, the percentiles can go up to from 0 to 99.999, and as far as you can go, actually, it can go 0 to 100%. Um, but that's a different way of breaking down the data, so you just have to be cautious when you're looking at that. I would, I would definitely um, use a calculator on these. Uh, and then the last thing is, Box and whiskers can go this way as well. So this is your minimum, your maximum, Q1, Q2, which is the median, and Q3. So box and whiskers can turn perpendicular, so sometimes you do that when you're looking at multiple things of data or whatever there. So let's have you do work on page 119, 120. And you have the rest of the period. I'm sorry the announcements didn't work. I have to figure out what is going on with my gym dandy. <laughs>